All right, welcome to another Two Cents for Two Minutes, a.k.a. Two for Two. Hopefully this is under two minutes. Today's topic is fake news. What's fake news? There are links and stories and articles on the internet that you click because the news title sounds interesting, sounds shocking and whatnot, but there's no fact or truth behind the story. The story is made up to grab your attention, to get you to click to get you to view their website and to get those ad dollars. Facebook has taken an initiative on fake news, trying to filter out misinformation by stronger detection, easy reporting, third-party verifications, warnings, related articles. Raise your hands if you've ever clicked on a fake news article, liked it, or shared it. I know I have. I've clicked one, I've shared it, and then you know, a couple minutes or a couple hours later, I found out that that article is fake. So I go and delete the share, click on like, but I believe the damage is done because it's shown to all your friends on Facebook or to whatever your social media is and it's spreading it. It's incorrect information, which can be damaging to whatever the article is about. I could totally understand why fake news spreads so fast because it's the way that these people write these fake news articles and make it sound so delicious. It's like ice cream to a kid. Why do people do this? <laughs> to make money. There's an article on two unemployed guys that made riches off Facebook by writing up fake news and having a fake news website. People just click on it. They get like, you know, $14 per ad and they're making like thousands of dollars a month. I don't think I would ever do it. I feel that misinforming people is like a deception. It's like fraud, pretty much. Giving them information that's not correct. Nothing to back up your sources, nothing to back up your information. I don't think I would ever do it. I don't think you ever see fake news on any of the M Square social medias. Raise your hand if you're tired of scrolling through all that fake news on your Facebook timeline, because I know I am. I just see articles and articles of people liking them, and I'm scrolling through them, and I'm looking, and now I don't even look at the tiles anymore. I look at the source. like where it's from, if that website actually has a reputation to give out good, reliable, informative articles before I click on that link. So I hope you guys do that too. And don't take anything on the internet for a fact. Make sure you have your sources. Make sure you can back up what you see on the internet. Thanks for watching. SLS, share, like, subscribe, M Square out.